On this Retro Combs Fast Load, we're going to upgrade our Mega 65 so that we go from this to this. Let's get started. And the first thing we'll want to do is download all of the files. We'll go to the file host. Just remember that everything you need is also in the companion blog post at stephencombs.com slash mega65-2. All the links you need to download these files are available. So the first one we're going to download is the mega65 kernel ROM. We will need that. That will come in a bin file for now. We'll learn how to convert that in just a little bit. It's a pretty simple process. Now we're going to scroll down a bit and we're going to go ahead and grab our M65 Connect. Now I'm grabbing the Linux version. There's a Windows and Mac version available. May as well grab that while we're grabbing things to upgrade. We also want the Mega 65 SD Card Essentials No ROM. And you can see the latest version is right here if you want to verify that. We'll download that. That will come as a RAR file, so we'll need to extract that a little bit later. Now we have all of the files we need right now except for the core. We'll pick that up at another site, but you'll see all three files are here, and you'll see within the SD Essentials No ROM RAR file that we need to extract that. Let's go ahead and extract it. That'll create a new folder. And what I've done is I've placed these in a downloads folder and I've tried to consolidate all these files into a single location. You see we have everything we need. Let's go ahead and extract our M65 Connect for Linux. Now the Linux version installs a little bit different than other versions, but use your operating system to install M65 Connect. Let's go back into our downloads folder, go back into our 65 updates, and now we're going to rename this bin file to mega65.rom. That's all you have to do to convert that bin file to a ROM file. We'll throw that into the no ROM SD Essentials, which now has a ROM. So we have everything we need to copy over to our SD card. Let's go ahead and take a look at our SD card. This is my original SD card. Make sure you have a backup before you copy anything over to this. And I've done that on a Google Drive folder, as a matter of fact. So we will go ahead and select all the files from our prepared SD card to our operating one, and that will replace everything. That's why it's important that we have that backup. Now we have everything we need for the SD card, but we do need to update our core file. For now, core files are located on the Discord Mega 65 channel. So let's not use the experimental releases. Let's use stable releases. Do a search for a bot called Jenkins and look for a success build of the core files. Download the bit file, the BIT file. That'll take you to the Mega Museum of Electronic Game and Arts file host. You need to have an account in order to download this file, but it is named Mega65R3.bit. The R3 stands for the revision of the board. I have the dev kit, so I am on revision three. The last thing we wanna do is we wanna come into M65 Connect. That will allow us to create a COR or core file from that BIT file. So we'll give it a display name. I like to choose a date along with the name and the revision, which again is R3 for the dev kit revision for the board. And then the display name, I'm just gonna use the date. I'm sure others will have ideas for how they wanna name it. This is what I've chosen to do. I'll overwrite a core that I've already created so that you can see that. The next thing that we want to do is copy that into our location where we have our SD cards. So we'll go ahead and find that once again. There's that file, we'll copy that to our SD card. Now we have everything copied to our SD card that we need to upgrade or update our Mega. So we'll eject the SD card from the computer. We will now insert it into our Mega 65. Hopefully we can insert it, there we go. Tiny, it's hard on your fingernails too. Now we're going to hold the no scroll button while we power on the device. That will bring up the core screen where slot zero has a default core that we can't change. So what we're gonna do is choose using control one, the slot number one, we're gonna choose the core that we uploaded and now we're going to just sit back and wait for quite some time. It's first of all going to erase that core. It's then going to write that core or that bit stream. The next thing it's gonna do is verify it and then if everything is successful, it will come up and let us know that it is ready to reboot. So we'll press any key to return to our main core menu. We'll come down to number one and we'll select that. And now we're going to load that core, that brand new core, fresh out of the oven. If we do it properly, we'll get a brand new screen that includes our new core along with our new ROM, which will automatically be loaded 
I don't cover the process for formatting an SD card, but you do need a Mega 65 to do that. All the information to format your SD card can be found at the companion blog post at www.stephencombs.com slash Mega 65 dash two. Curious about what dash one is? Type it, find out. That completes this fast load video. However, I thought some of you might like to see some samples of the Mega 65 in action. So I'm going to show those here with a little background music. And I'm also going to demonstrate a quick little look at Geos on the Mega 65. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. At this time, Rachel Combs out.